Well, tell people where we are today. We're at uh, World of Wedgwood, the Wedgwood Estate. <laughs> but um, I just got distracted by some of the signs here. So. That's where we are today. Can we just have a cross? <laughs> Each designer's got their own little garden. Yeah, we can take fine. a look. So I'm just like, oh, pleasantly surprised here. So come with. Joe Thompson. So yeah, built in 1769 was the pioneering Staffordshire village that Josiah Wedgwood built, which there is a massive statue of him, I think, down there. Yeah, we're going to go see it in a bit. So, Joe Thompson celebrated her 10th year Chelsea Flower Show. Joe is a leading plants woman and world renowned garden designer. Ooh. But, is that a sycamore seed? That's what I want to know. That looks like a sycamore seed. Does anyone else know? I don't know. It's Put it in the comments. It's like a sycamore seed. Nice little. Quite a thin path. It's big enough for my feet. That's all that matters. Joe Thompson again. Joe Thompson is the best designer so far. I've only just got it. So all of these are sort of when it's, you know, it's fully grown. They're just going to look almost like topiary. It's quite a big area. I like how it's like half a cup in the ground. Yeah, it's got the saucer over there, I think. Yeah. These buildings look pretty nice as well. The man himself. Josiah Wedgwood, the guy who started it all. On 24th of February in 1863, it was erected outside Stoke and Trent Railway Station where it still resides today. Welcome visitors to the city. This is a replica, but it's just as good as the real thing. Got some nice benches here. This probably looks quite nice in the evening, but it's all lit up with lights and things. Got some other stores here and some food, coffee, Wedgwood. Do we want to go in? In fact, I want to take a look at this first. Got all these lovely flowers here, this mural of a butterfly. That's before we go in. Wedgwood. Anyone who likes Wedgwood, this vlog's for you. But they're closed Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you. Josiah like Wedgwood. Made out of plates. I'll get closer. That's made out of plates, isn't they've, it? They've got pottery painting as well going on. So if you want to. So you might get to that. Pot. There's actually a lot here, isn't there? There is. If you get much closer, it's massive. They're all actual uh, plates. So that looks quite cool. I don't want to get a shot of this. Stoke on Trent. In fact, it's actually painted to be looked at from that angle. Let's get the angle lined up. There we go. We're going to go in there. See the collection? There's like a little activity sheet with some stamps. So I'm going to have a go at it. And then when you've got all the stamps on the other side. Oh, you stamp this side? Yeah, you can create your own sort of things. That's why Merlin got the idea. So I'm going to have a go. Have you already um, stamped this one? This one's the green one, so green one's here. Oh, they're all colour coded as well. I'm actually quite looking forward to this because I, I thought Wedgwood would be down, your stuff, but so there's a lot of stuff here to do. I think I'll put it on so upside down, but it's there if you want one. No, I can film you doing it. I'm, I'm going to have a go because it's quite interesting. Here we go. Wedgwood fans, settle down and enjoy. This is the other side of that mural. It was actually on some windows. It looked like it was on a grey wall outside. We might get a photo with the wind. We'll take a photograph. See what you think. That was nice. What do you think at home? Is that a good photo? Got the wings. My brother just sent me a message saying, don't forget to pick up the Peter Rabbit tea set. <laughs> this is, um... Is this all the charities or is this the artists? So uh, these are the people that have helped fund it. Feels like we're outside, but we're not. This is very. I love this style. The Art Deco style. That's very cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's very 
Tell me what you've seen on the stamp. I just thought of a really silly thing. So here's me guessing. Oh, you stamp on these sides, and then you have to stamp the other side, but no, it already, no, they're lined up. It already does it. So it stamps the other side, that. which is quite cool. I know, but that was really, really silly. Oh, George Eaton is the oven man. The oven man who lives on Drury Lane? What's he made out of? Got the other stamp over here. George Eaton could carry heavy loads of pottery into the oven to be fired. The oven would need to get up to massive temperatures of over a thousand degrees. Almost as hot as lava. This could take two whole days. And there he is. I've got the costume designs for the bicentenary pageant. I've got a ceramic queen. Prince Gas. Princess Petroleum. That looks quite cool. And old King Cole. Who was? A merry old soul. You can hear the oven doing its thing. It will sometimes take up to two days to get over a thousand degrees. They say it's something that looks so elegant that comes out of it. There's a lot of labour and a lot of heavy work involved. So in his early years, at 14, he was apprenticed to his brother, Thomas, to learn about pottery making. The perfection of a green glaze marks the beginning of Wedgwood's search for excellence. Which you can see an example of here. Look like cauliflowers. And another cool thing, there's some of them under here, you can feel the textures. Three cast iron columns from the side of the Trent and Mersey Canal, made by the Atlas Foundry in the 19th century. You can see where they've uh, cut them as well. The real deal. So yeah, this bit here is where they put it, the product on the end, but that bit is the bit that you use to help turn it. So you put the tool up against it and you get a chevron. We'll go back and forth, put off a bit each time to make those little indentations. William Brocott. Fire was a big risk at the factory and could quickly get out of control. Did you hear someone shout fire? Quick, better find the fire engine. No such thing as a fire brigade back then, just so I had factory workers like William trained up as firemen, as long as they were local married and ready to drop everything at a moment's notice. That looks like the or fire. Or face solace and pay. That looks like what they may have used. That looks like the sort of fire engine. Yeah, it is, I think. So is it the fire engine? It's got a little hose there, yep. Everything gives way to experiment. Pyrometer. Measuring. I so can't leave it to chance. I like the way you were so light till it's pressed and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he did medical stuff as well. He, had, quite a lot of different he was supplying different people. Quite a lot. They, they made quite a lot of like, sort of scientific, scientific medical sort of tools as well. So pottery is more than just one thing. Well, you get to try to break discs in your car as well. It's Wedgwood's experiment book. Experiment with different types of jasper and colour. I have tried my new mixing of Jasper and I find it very good. Desire Wedgwood. The stirrup cups in the form of a head of a hair. Vase slash flower holder in the shape of bamboo. That looks pretty cool. Got 
some of the enamel trials. And the white jasper. Oh. <coughs> That's his face. Have you noticed that the bit in the middle looks like a giant fire kiln? Looks like something out of uh, National Space Centre. No, it's a giant kiln. Oh no, I know it's not out of National Space Centre. Some of the more traditional colours, blue and white Wedgwood. That actually looks really cool. The Quiver Vase. Solid pale blue jasper, dark blue dip, white reliefs. That looks really cool. We've got some uh, pretty decent looking uh, candle holders as well. The seated position of Josiah belies the existence of his wooden leg having suffered increasing pain in his right knee, a direct result of smallpox. Josiah decided to have the leg amputated by May 1768. The operation performed at home without any anaesthetic. Oh, yoy! Um, involved appalling pain and extreme hazard to life. Josiah survived and soon discovered an instrument maker who wore a wooden leg, which he had made himself. He carved several legs for Josiah, 100 years later when Josiah was depicted in a Japanese print. He was still remembered for his missing leg. Josiah's most entrusted employees with a super hyper detail of where just look at those chest ridges and back the faces on these portrait medallions. I've been told they're a bit like these newfangled emojis. Perhaps you can sketch your portrait on your trail. Show us your skill. Well, I'm going to stamp first, so uh, yeah, that works. Mm. Lots of clay tools. Whoa, this is like, this is like Gollum, this one. Oh, the rings chest set, this is, I bet this is worth millions. More of these uh, bamboo looking ones, which I think look really nice. That's how a table should be set. Oh, Dickie! They're all awesome. And easy to stack and when packed with straw, cushion the ceramics from the box and have them in translation. Oh, there's some more bamboo. That one's got a cow on it. Bronze death mask of Tom Wedgwood. There it is. No, it's time for. Vase constructed of five component pieces: the neck, two handles, middle, and plinth. And then they were all put together. It's insanely uh, big. I don't think it comes out on camera, but it's massive. Put in the comments below, do you like the owl? 
or the lobster. Got the wash basin. We saw something similar to this in the Abbey Pumping Station Museum, if you've seen that vlog. This one's in a lot better condition. That lamp, the monkey eye lobster bowl with the uh, skewers. Annular shape plates and saucers. Wedgwood provides silver cross with 500 prams. A little bit of blue Wedgwood symbolism on there as well. The bicycle formerly belonged to, to Josiah Wedgwood V. The H model. Manufactured by Hercules Bicycles. And then we've even got some uh, lampshades or lamp heads. Just made anything that you could and to such high quality. I think the most worrying thing is, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, it's slightly leaning to the left. <laughs> you know, I don't think it'll fall over, but yeah. Well, from this side, it'll be slightly to the right, but I can notice it. And that's on the others, yeah. It's slightly leaning to the right there. But it's probably been there a few years. 3D view of Victorian life. So that one. Invention of photography. Oh my gosh. How is it? That's Is it by magic? Freehand paintresses. Headed up the freehand and paintresses. Painting and paint fantastic designs. There's no paintbrush. And that brilliant artistic talent. Yeah. Yeah. Another chest set and some backgammon. Advent calendar. Yeah, they do an advent calendar every year, it's like 400 quid or something. Got a lot of decorations in. Ooh. And that's what the doors look like. That's what the factory <laughs> looks like when it's open. And there's a viewing platform higher up, so I want to Check out the other buildings. I quite enjoyed that. There was so much like a man had a vision and then he just kind of like having to know one person's off to another. There's the factory in the background, which uh, 
I got a few shots of and then I read a note that said you're not meant to film so I turned it off. <laughs> no one actually told me to stop filming. I just yeah, saw the sign which was on the way out, well, not yeah, on the way not in. on the way in, yeah. It's like it's behind the, the door. Yeah, but the door wasn't... It wasn't facing you as you went no, in, yeah. that's the So yeah, you're not actually meant to film the factory yeah. bit. So, looks alright then, doesn't it? Oh, it's got a little... Spoon. You make your own. So they do pet food for wolves and if you're in a lynx you can also get pet food here. It's semi moist at the bottom <laughs> for the Blackpool Pleasure Beach fans. Shaped candles are more than one wicked up. Show them what you got. People people know I exist so they don't need to see me. Well I got an ivy plant and we got like loads of uh, flapjacks that are different flavours. And also, they've got uh, obviously a little bit of wedge wood as well, but I can't show because that's a present for someone. So, yeah. <laughs> well, did um, you enjoy your time at Wedgewood? I did enjoy it, and there's there's a lot more. What I thought, well, it's a lot more than what I thought it came into actually. Uh, Wedgewood, like it kind of made like a huge movement from what I've learned. So, did you want to tell me how much but, it costs um, to get in and to park? It's free to get in, and it's, it's free. free to park. Like we parked right near the entrance. And, and I'd, I'd recommend bringing some spending money because obviously where I've just spent the stuff, it's not just the Wedgwood shop. There's like obviously a little alcove of all the little shops as well, including a distillery, um, which looks quite nice for gin because um, the kilns, the bottles are the shape of the kilns, which I think is just like a lovely touch to it, and you can get hampers of them and all sorts, along with beers and in crates. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been a lovely day. It's been a lot more than what I expected because I just thought, oh, it's going to be like a little bit of Wedgwood and that's it, you know. But actually, there's so much more. But you can also do like craft things. You can paint pottery as well, um, which I'm hoping I might actually put that up on my Instagram, like the prices as it stands as of 2023. Um, but yeah, it's something that I want to come back to in the future. Do you want to come back? Yeah, I don't see why not. It's pretty decent, isn't it? <laughs> I think I'm more interested in it because there's more shiny things and pretty things. But maybe that's just the nails and the villain in me. But, um, quite enjoyable. So we'll see you. In the rear view. Because for now. We're gone. Bye.